Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we will be showing you Fontaine Peugeot Lucia 40, which is a really neat catamaran. There are a lot of people charting this around the world, so I thought it would be really interesting to show it to you guys. Also would make a great liveaboard. Let's go forward. Oh, I like the layouts. One of the signatures of Fontaine Peugeot, having that flash hatches. It's really nice. Let me just pan around one second. Having the flash hatches, it's really awesome. Don't trip over them, can actually you know, safely walk forward or aft. So we've got, so what we've got here, let's look. I'm assuming this would be storage. Just storage. Oh yeah, good size storage. <laughs> and then one big trampoline, not like yeah. two separate ones, actually one nice, good-sized trampoline. Yeah, it feels really nice and Hang spacious. Out. It's got good layout. Get splashed at on the way. Some windows here, which is pretty nice. So really nice for a little cross breeze. Should we check out the helm? And, Captain? It's pretty good. I'm so used to being first mate here, sitting in my oh, designated spot, but actually. That's kind of cool with a little yeah, it's really staircase no, really going nice. up to the, to the top deck and um, you know, easy access to the, to the boom and yeah. the sail. You can put cushions. Um, there's a few areas you can definitely put cushions. Yeah. Right here, we've got a little area. You can't walk on it, but it's nice and spacious. You could put a, a nice solar panels over there. Totally, you could totally put some solar panels on there. have a hatch there to open get some breeze into the cockpit if it's like really warm it's kind of cool what do we got here got a Garmin chart plotter all the Garmin instruments your wheel Volvo controls right there shifter throttle all lines are here get the winches here yeah looks really good Okay, continue on. Should we check out the cockpit? So we've got two different ways we could go. We can go around this way, and we can also go uh, straight from the helm, straight down. Straight down, right here. Let's go the aft way. Okay, follow me. Oh, that's a good, It's really safe. nice and safe. Feels really comfortable. So the cockpit area is really spacious. I really love whenever the catamarans incorporate and have these benches here. It's really nice. It just gives you an extra space that you can use, you know, in case you're eating and stuff. There's some other people can just hang out. It's great. Love when they have that. that little layout cushion here. Good space for you've got a cup, put a couple of chairs here. You could easily have dinner with eight people. Yeah, the cockpit dining. Yeah, I would say like very comfortable eight people. Yep, so there's the hat trick I was talking about. The lacrosse breeze, LED lighting here. I personally love when the galley opens up to the cockpit. I think it, it's really nice because you can, you know, if you're cooking and working in the, in the galley, you can actually socialize with, you know, people you're with and it just, it doesn't feel disconnected. Um, sometimes catamarans have it forward and 
that's also nice, but my personal preference is this way. So that's really nice here. Did I say nice already? <laughs> Let me get your perspective. Yeah, so we've got this sliding window here that obviously closes. Got a sliding door here. So it feels really nice and open right here in the back. This is pretty fabulous. So we've got a freezer, good size freezer, and it looks like it's nicely insulated. And we've got two drawer fridges. So that is pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. Really cool. This here is... Trash, right? Yes, trash. Actually, pretty, pretty cool. See, on some of the other boats in the lagoon, sometimes it's outside. Yeah, that's, it's that's convenient. Yeah, right that's from great. The top. It's right by the door. Easy access. Love it. Okay. The sinks are not very big. They're a little bit on the smaller size. Um, okay, tons of space underneath. A lot. Tons. Here. I like the finishes. It's like the gloss finish. So you've got some drawers here. Yeah, good amount here. Got a little oven. Propane oven? Yeah, but actually it's... It's a good it's size. A, yeah, it's actually pretty good for... Yeah. For onboard oven. Tons of storage. All optional um, space for a microwave. microwave. I saw an outlet in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. All right. Got a three burner propane cooktop. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that's our galley. We've got a chart table here. With the repeater huh, of the uh, chart plotter, your VHF radio and your stereo. Yeah, these windows are really, really great. Like just standing here and feeling the breeze coming in, it's pretty fabulous. And then overall, nice. the windows are really nice. Nice sitting area. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be storage underneath here. Uh, no, not no, on this it's headroom. Side. It's headroom. So there's oh, only storage. That's why there's so much headroom. There's only storage, storage in the center. Here? Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah. There is. You guys can see that there's a pretty good storage yep. here. That's the cookie storage. That's a lot of cookies. Well, you know, gotta hide them from you. What makes it really bright is that overhead light. Yeah, I mean, that is... is, that's definitely pretty awesome. Yeah, I love now that the, the new Potem Peugeot will have that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, which side do you want to check out first? I don't know. Let's just do it. Okay, I think that's this, the owner's side. Yeah, this is the owner. So this is a three cabin version, an owner's version. So we've got a full hall for an owner's cabin and then a double cabin on the other side. Come on down. Nice headroom. Maybe a little bit not as tall, but actually well, in a, here. That's a bulkhead. I think I guess you have to have the first stability. Yeah, but this in here feels really good. Yeah. Nice and tall on 5'7, so it's pretty good. It's it's almost a walk around, huh? Yeah, this is great. Great amount of headroom. I like that um the window. I mean it is a 40-foot catamaran, so you know it's not gonna be that much over um hall space, but it's well it's well done. Some hanging closet here. Mm -hmm. Massive drawer. Oh, wow. Well, that's a, that's a huge drawer. That is drawer. a big drawer. <laughs> yeah. All right, here. Some, oh, this is a cute little hook here. All right. Getting ready, little makeup station. Missing a mirror here. Just so. <laughs> I think this is. Absolutely perfect as a little workstation. Actually. Yeah, I know. I'm you know, put your put your laptop there. Yeah. You you can actually get some stuff done. Especially if you live in a boat, it's a really nice little space to have because then you're always using. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always sitting on the dining room table. This kind of nice. Um, little storages here. This looks like a much bigger hanging closet. Oh yeah, this would be my closet. It's a good size. Wow, that's that's a really good size. Mm -hmm. Really deep on the outboard side. So. This is the nice thing about the owner's version, you guys, because you have the door going this way and it really gives you a lot of space and privacy. Pretty cool. All right, we got, oh, I like 
this. Separate, separate head, so separate toilet here. Yeah, that is awesome. Nice big sink here. Oh, good size shower. Actually, really roomy shower. Great headroom. What is, is nice. What's there in the front? So that's gotta be connecting us to the, to that extra. Open it. No, oh, it's a storage. what? And it's, wow. it has a gasket around, so I assume it stays dry. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's a massive storage. Good for you, Fontaine Peugeot. I did not expect this. This is a lot of storage. I mean, it's practically like a walk-in closet here in the in the shower. But yeah, it's great for towels, even um, just like linen, you know, linen sheets, if it's really staying dry Yeah, well here, done. That's great. But an interesting thought, you can actually put wash and dry here, which is not, it's pretty difficult to find a 40 foot catamaran that you could find a good space for wash and dry. It's a great space. Fantastic. Like a washer dry combo. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Impressed. Is there like another storage underneath the um, the sink? Yeah, I'm sure there's something. Oh yeah. Yeah, actually. Also, wow, also yeah. good size. Yeah, I'm so used to, um, for example, on lagoons, you just kind of, this space is always sort of uh, just access and it's very little tiny. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me there's storage behind the door, too. I don't too. think so. No. But wait, there's more. But wait, wait, there's more. Dang. Another hanging, hanging closet. Yeah. Wow. I mean. Two hanging closets. Yeah, like I can fit in here really nicely. We actually finally could have stuff in one cabin. We yeah. Could truly share a cabin, you and I. Okay, so let's check out the other side. Let's see how, ooh, dang, how guest cabins are. Okay. All right, going over to the porthole. Port side, um, you've got all your switches here. Yep, yeah, got your breakers here. Um, I see it has a uh, Victron inverter. So this is gonna be a shared head. So two cabins and a shared head. All right. So Going forward. forward. Guest cabin, you know, it's pretty, actually pretty small bed, to be honest, not, not that big. But the other cabin kind of impressed me, I gotta say. The owner's cabin was pretty amazing. Okay. Right. Storage-wise, we probably have, I like that mirror, it gives it, makes it feel a lot bigger in here. How about the window? That's really awesome. When you wake up in the morning, have your head kind of right here. You just lift it up, look outside and see the beautiful Bahamas. So another huge drawer here. I mean, this is the biggest drawer I've ever seen. Look at this thing. Yeah, that's massive. Um, and then. Okay, let me go around. Must be something Oops. here. I think that's probably a little hanging closet. Little hanging closet, little shortening hanging. I mean, this is, this is little guest room. There's definitely um, not that much space, but for, you know, for a nice yeah. few, few days on the boat, even a week, it's not too bad. Yeah, like this, the smaller of the guest cabins, I would assume. And I think the aft one is- Oh, the aft one is a lot bigger. Probably considered the VIP. Wow, that's a good size shower. Okay, go, go in the shower. There's definitely, you go in the shower. <laughs> you go in the shower. Is there a way to close that up here? You always push me in the shower. No. Uh, okay. I guess, yeah. That's All right, let's get the perspective. Stay in the shower. Yeah, there's, there's no door here. It's kind of interesting. I wonder why. I guess I feel like it's big enough if you face it this way. That... Yeah, I mean, love that there's actually storage the underneath. Yeah. It's not just a wasted kind of a yeah. space that we can't put anything in there. Usually you open this up and you just have an open space of and some tubes valves and, and valves. through holes. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, there's another closet, uh, another cabinet. Sorry, I'm making it dark in here, but in order That's to fine. show it to you guys, there's this and this looks like something. No, maybe not. Uh, no, maybe no, it's a holding tank in there. Yeah, this is behind. some kind of access. 
But yeah, there's this whole storage, so that's pretty cool. So you're not losing much by not having it behind this area. And another hanging closet here. Yep. Okay. And let's go to the aft cabin on the port side. Yeah, that's the VIP. Yeah, this bed is definitely a lot bigger and there's the same same deal with the drawer here and the hanging closet here. Same same type of deal, but the bed is definitely bigger. I mean, the windows are fantastic in here. It's really light, really light and bright. Yeah, it feels, uh, feels pretty good. Good layout. Let's check out the engine compartment. Let's do this engine compartment. Oh, okay. Why don't you do that? This is your domain. Um, we are on the starboard hull engine compartment. It's a lot of space around. It's really, really good access. Um, little, you know, D access. D1 Volvo Panther, 30 horsepower. Got the uh, water heater right here. Also really good access. Uh, panning around, you know, all your battery banks are right here. Where's the generator? Forward? I don't know if it has one. <laughs> no generator on this? Inverter. Inverter. Got it. Inverter charger right there. Awesome. You guys said you want to see Rico a little bit more, so here you go. Rico in all his glory. I don't know if I have to open all of them. I think you do. Yeah. Looks like pretty, pretty massive compartments. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. That okay. That is gigantic. So the generator I mean, could go in here. You know here. what? Let me go in there so people can get a perspective. Alrighty, guys. Look at the size. But look at the storage space. Yeah, it's it's massive. So the the generator could go where you are. Could right? be right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice Actually, generator with a with a you know sound shield. It's not even too bad to service it. Like Rico, what's that cleave for there? Which one? There, right there. This one. Oh, this one. Yeah. What would that be for? That's for your for your anchor. So this one doesn't have the anchor installed yet. You see, there's no chain, yeah. no rope on mm -hmm. the on the uh, Wildcat. And this life raft would probably go somewhere else because that's the your chain. that's your, your your chain storage. And then there's a massive water tank right here. Cool. Okay. Well, unless you want to stay in there. Cool setup. Yeah, it's a lot of cool setup. It's a lot of rooms. I've got some great features for yeah. forty foot catamaran. As of right now, the boat is outfitted with one um, foresail and we have one mainsail with a classic setup, classic mainsail with lazy jacks and a sail back. So this concludes our walkthrough of Pantan Peugeot Lucia 40. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you're interested in the boat, all information would be in the description. If you guys are interested in checking out any other catamarans, just click the link, click the link right here. As always, thank you so much for watching and please, please, please like, subscribe and comment. It really makes a huge difference. We really appreciate you guys. Ciao. Can you talk? I'm tapping on it. No, just talk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it looks funky. Can you can you do this on, on yours? Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're on. Okay. Go. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Fun time for Charlie's here. Forty. Wait. <laughs> what? Let's go to the bow. Yeah. All right. All right. Should we just go? Can you just go? Straight you want to go straight forward? Yeah. You good? I can't do it. 
Yeah. Good enough. Um, Let's go forward the sliding door. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to show it. This way. Yeah. So this is towels or cleaning, cleaning utensils. Cleaning, cleaning utensils. Whatever that is. Is that Look a German thing? No. I don't think so. No. No, no, no. No, 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 there's nothing there. No recall, there is no okay. stuff. <laughs> oh, but. Poor Matt. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, on, on, um, how's it called? Shocks? Yeah, like, like. What should link. I say? Oh, link. Yeah, yeah. What is this link? That's not the link. You're going to put a link in there. I can't put a link in here. Oh. Can you see me? Yeah, you want to stay in there? No. <laughs> Hello there. What, do I have to leave already? Yeah. Aww. Let's go check out another boat. Okay.